What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. So today we're gonna to go ahead and talk about mSATA drives. So in our RevTech board here, you can see that we are running an mSATA hard drive. So we don't have an SSD, traditional SSD, that runs over SATA. We're not running USB here for HiveOS. It runs off of mSATA. The nice thing about the HiveOS boards is they have like the CPU, heat sink built in, as well as your memory, and of course the USB um, PCI drives or uh, connections. So in this mSATA board, which is the one that we just did, if you guys remember, we just had a video out last week on this four NVIDIA rig. We have the 1070 Ti, 2060, we have the 1660 Ti, and the 3060. Well, in this rig, I didn't have, as you can see, we're missing an mSATA in there. So we actually are running this off a real small little USB drive right in there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over today installing HiveOS on an mSATA drive and the adapter that we need to make this happen. So let me go ahead and power this down and then I'll show you guys exactly what we're doing. Okay guys, so here's what we're working with right now. Uh, this is the, let's turn this around here. This is the RevTech board. It's an eight GPU board. They market it as a blockchain PC is what they call it. Uh, they're really, really nice. Uh, MSRP, they were like $135 and it's a phenomenal $135. I mean, you think about it, you know, yeah, you buy an mSATA, but it's got a, a very minimal small CPU in it with a little heat sink on it. Uh, it has your memory in it, it's like four gigs, I think. Um, and then on top of that, what is the biggest selling point is these guys right here. So you go ahead, you plug in everything coming from your risers right into there, and then look, you just power it off of a uh, PCI and, and off you go. So these boards are phenomenal. I actually have it on this thing. Check out this heavy duty thing right here. Um, so this is a GPU hanger, but it's been altered. These are actually RevTech hangers that come to us from the guys over at Misfits Mining. And uh, it's heavy duty, but check it out. So we can hang this right from it uh, and it works really well. Now these do have three USB power button, HDMI and as well as Ethernet. These are insanely hard to come by. I doubt many of you guys have these out there and if you did, you bought them a lot in the beginning, which I wish I would have, and uh, now they're 700 to $1,000 when they MSRP'd for like a year ago for 135, it's ridiculous. So we did have our Wolverine build, um, our rig running on this little uh, Samsung 32-bit USB. Um, so uh, this was short term. I don't recommend you running Hive OS on USB drives long term. Now, I know there's a boatload of you guys out there that are gonna be like, I've been running mine for two years. Well, if you go on Hive OS's website, it actually tells you not to run them on USB long term because of the constant read writes. So there's three ways really that you have Hive OS. You have it on a USB drive, you have it on a solid state drive, and then finally, you put it on a little mSATA drive, which is what we're gonna do here today. Uh, it, on this little, tiny little 32 gig mSATA, I think this was $17. I'll put a link to this guy down below. Um, never heard of this brand before, um, but it was a good price and for 17 bucks, we'll go with it, you know? If it lasts us a, a few years, we're good, you know, we get our money's worth definitely. Um, so this actually plugs in right here goes like that right into the slot. Let me grab it real quick, I'll show you. This slides right in here, but we wanna put HiveOS on this. So what we need is we need this little guy. So I'll put a link down below to this adapter. Um, this adapter is really, really nice. So you go ahead and plug yours, and I'm just gonna lightly do this one-handed. It's not actually gonna go in all the way, but we just plug that in and then we go ahead and plug in via USB to our computer and we go ahead and just write HiveOS directly to it. Simple and easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that screwed in and then we'll plug that into our computer and I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, so we're over on the computer. Uh, we're gonna go over and go over to HiveOS and we're gonna click install at the top. We're gonna come down here under GPU and pick zip and it's gonna go ahead and start to download the file. In the meantime, I'm gonna, while that downloads, shouldn't take too, too long, under a minute, we're gonna jump back over to HiveOS. We're gonna go to the plus in the upper right-hand corner. We're gonna go to add worker, 
and we're going to go ahead and create our worker and the password for this test i'm just going to go ahead and call this um what should we call this big bob <laughs> sure and test one two three four okay this is just a test uh we're going to go ahead and do revtech board and we're going to hit add so now it's going to go ahead and give us some great information here we don't need any of this at this point in time but what we will do is download the rig file this allows us to, when this boots up for the first time, automatically report back to our Hive OS. If not, and you don't do this step at all, which you don't have to, you just have to make sure you have a monitor and a keyboard and a mouse plugged in, because when it boots, it's gonna ask you for your rig ID and it's gonna ask you for the rig password. So because we're gonna skip that step and, and do this step, we're gonna download the rig config for the worker. So we're gonna go ahead and download it and it's gonna go ahead and download it in the bottom left-hand corner. So now we're going to go ahead and allow this to finish downloading. Okay, so our download completed. Now, when you're dealing with anything other than a traditional USB drive, uh, you want to go ahead and right here on that HiveOS install page, go to the bottom and under right, you're going to find a program called Etcher. Go ahead over and download Etcher via this green button right here. Okay, so once Etcher is finished, go ahead and download it and then it'll, you'll be able to find it on the computer uh, via searching for Valina Etcher. Once you do that, you're going to click Flash from File. This window is going to go ahead and come up, and it just wants to point to the Hive OS OS that we actually downloaded originally. We're going to go ahead and click that and hit Open. The next step is it wants you hit Change right in the middle there. And let me show that to you again, right here in the middle. Hit Change. This is the target. Where is this installing to? And right here, this is our 32 gig M SATA drive. That's in our USB uh, device adapter. We select that and hit select. And now we're gonna go ahead and click flash. Okay, so while the uh, image is applying uh, to our mSATA drive, I thought I'd show you. So we were talking about two files, right? We downloaded the OS and then the config file from this screen. So here is the config file here that we downloaded, rig.config. Once this is done, I'm gonna show you a process um, and we need to move this, copy and paste it, right onto the root directory of that mSATA drive, and that will allow everything uh, to boot up properly and get it assigned directly to my Hive OS. Okay, so our, our install's done of the operating system using the Blina Etcher program. The downside is, is I need to take my rig.config file on the right and put it onto this USB drive, but I don't see it here. I should see a drive that says Hive, and then I click on it and can drag it in. So what you need to do is you need to unplug this adapter for about a minute or two, plug it back in, and then Hive is gonna show up right here next to our D drive. Okay, so it's been two minutes or so. We plugged it back in and take a look. There it is, Hive and E drive. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click on that drive, and then you don't have to do anything in here on the left. This is your drive. Just go ahead, right click on rig config, do a copy, come over to the drive and do paste. And that's it. So then the last step is make sure you come down the bottom right hand corner, click on uh, safely remove and eject it. And that's it guys. Now we're ready to go ahead and install our mSATA drive. Okay, so our mSATA is installed and ready to go. Simple and easy. It's got the one little screw there. Uh, it does, there is a second spot. It doesn't come with one on the board. Is it entirely necessary? No. Would it be nice to have? Yeah, it would be. But the nice thing is, is look, we've gone from a little um, USB drive to a mSATA drive and, and pretty much right around that same price uh, all said and done. Uh, I will put a link to this mSATA drive in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. So if you do want to support me, it's a great way to do it. it costs you guys nothing. Uh, I will also put a link to the adapter down below. Uh, the adapter does come with a little screwdriver, which is perfect for the install. Other than that, guys, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video here, get this installed in our rig, and get back to mining. If you guys enjoyed this short little video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.